大家好，我是木木，欢迎大家收听这一期的早安英文。大家好，我是早安英文的 Jack。Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语、听说、读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当。Okay, so Jack, do you like coffee? Yes, I do like coffee. You, you like? Yeah, I could. You don't like coffee. Well, I I like drink drink tea more. What's it called? Hot tea. Hot tea. Hot tea. Hot tea. Thank you. So, how many cups of coffee do you drink a day? <laughs> Um, That's the real one. question. One cup.、Yeah. Are you sure one about that? One cup of coffee.、Yeah. Okay. Recently,、so. because you know. Hmm. I was a doctor. I often. Drink a cup of coffee in the morning to make me awake for、mm. the following work. So we use the cup as a measure word here, right? Yeah, measure word. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Measure word.、Mm. Yeah. Okay, so today we're going to talk about a few different types of measure words in English. 对，今天我们要聊一聊在日常生活当中呢，我们应该用一些什么样的量词？比如说一片披萨啦，一群鱼啦，我们应该怎么说呢？ Okay, so we're gonna today share four categories of measure words. 对，我们要分享四种类型的量词。Okay, so the first one is about animals. Animal, 动物。动物的。对 ，for example, birds.、Mm, yeah. Birds 也算是哦，也是 animal， 也是动物。<laughs> I'll say I saw many birds migrate south every winter. I'll use many as a Uh, measure word. Yeah. So, in fact, the measurement word for birds should be a flock. So,、mm. I saw a flock of birds migrate south this winter.、Uh, 就是比起这个 many 呢，我们用 a flock of 会更加的地道一些，表示一群鸟，很多鸟。我们可以用到的这个词就是 flock， 表示一群一大堆。Can we use that word to describe another animal? So this doesn't apply to all animals.、Mm. All sorts of different groups of different types of animals、mm. have their own names, so it can be a little bit confusing.、Mm. So another example、uh, is a herd of cows. Oh, do you, do you know any more? Yeah, uh, 比如说 a pack of dogs. Yeah, that's it. That's a good one. Yeah. How? Because I prepared that. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> 就是我们用我们要形容不同的动物呢，就可以用不同的量词。刚刚说的是一群的这个 cattle, cattle. 一群牛，对吧 ？Yeah, that's right. 对 ，you 就用的是 a herd of。嗯，那我刚刚说的是一群的狗，一群狗呢，我们不仅可以用 many， 我们可以可以说是 a pack of dogs。Yeah, so it could be a pack of dogs or a pack of wolves. 嗯，那 there's another one I feel a little surprised when I heard about that expression, like、yeah. a school of fish. Yeah, that is that is a funny one. Yeah, <laughs> like fish in a school. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> 我很好奇，就是一群鱼。我看到这个表达的时候，我觉得特别的惊讶。它用的是 school 这样一个量词来形容鱼，特别特别的多的。The most strange one that I know for a type of animal is a specific type of bird called a crow. You should a crow? You should a crow, ma? 对，乌鸦。Yeah, we call this. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, yeah. We call this a murder of crows.、Uh -huh. So if there's a big group of them, you say that is a murder of crows. A murder, like. Yeah, like kill someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's strange. That's really. I'm more surprised. Yeah, you wouldn't believe how many strange ones there are. I think there's something like eighty to a hundred for specific animals, like very strange one like this. A murder of. Yeah, I can't remember what animal it is, but there's also one called a parliament of some animals. I think it's a parliament of owls. <laughs> So weird. Yeah, it is very weird. It is weird. We don't really use it very much at all, but that's、嗯、you know officially how it's supposed to be said. 就是用这个谋杀犯这个词来形容很多很多的乌鸦。So if we see 很多很多的 crow means bad luck. Do you know that? Yes, that is very bad luck as well. Even in England. <laughs> but I heard that in Japan it means good luck. I'm I'm not very sure about. Really?、Oh. But、uh, not good luck. But us, there are lots of crows. Oh, a murder of crows! A murder of crows! You can't see there. Ah, <laughs> that's good. I like your impression. <laughs> 好了，我们继续来讲。<laughs> so now we're gonna talk about some measure words to describe food. Your favorite、yes. part. Yeah. Okay. So、uh, I can think maybe with. Oh, let me think now. How about? Oh, you got me stumped now. I'm just trying to、uh, think myself. 那个那个那个，你喜欢的披萨。
Oh yeah. Oh, oh God. Thank you for helping me. Share, <laughs> share, share, How about a slice of pizza? 如果你说就一片披萨呢，我们就可以说 a slice of pizza、嗯。那如果是两片呢？对对。哦、oh, ，我喜欢三,三片。<笑>三片好，三片怎么说 ？How to describe this in English? I would like three slices of pizza. 对，直接在前面加这个量词就可以了。Three slices of pizza. 那比如说 ，I like ice cream. 嗯，哈根达斯那个球。<笑> so she said, I wanted two chocolate ice cream balls. <笑> so maybe not balls. In fact, the... <笑>因为球嘛 ，we translate directly. <笑> so the correct way would be to say, I would like two scoops of ice cream. 嗯 ，two scoops. 嗯，所以刚刚用到这个词呢，叫做 a scoop， 作为名词表示铲子、勺子。一勺就是一个球，两勺呢就是两个球，表示两个球的冰淇淋就特别特别的形象。So definitely, you will eat how many scoops of ice cream? Well, if it's Hagen Dazs, maybe three or four. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think three or four enough for you? Oh, okay, fine. Now let's fine. talk about drinks. Drinks.、Okay. Drinks, my favorite. Right? Okay. So <laughs> you, your favorite. <laughs> your favorite should be food. Well, they're double, both my favorite.、Mm-hmm. Right. So the ones I can think of quickly are a bottle of water. Um, this we hear more. A glass of wine. You can drink a glass of wine. Oh, very easy. Yes, it's 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 very easy.
No. Yeah, yeah, tube. A tube, tube of toothpaste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Okay. Any more? Any more? One more. Uh, two. Uh, look, okay, I, a slice of bread. Oh, okay, I'll give you that one. All right, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, game over. Game over. Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。我们今天已经讲了太多了，已经超时间了，<笑>十分钟了。那么今天我们这期节目就到这里了。我是木木，我是 Jack， <笑>我们下期见。See you next time, guys. Bye. Bye bye.